Hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to get unique records from multiple sources of documents and load into database tables in SIS. First I will show my sample records. I have four text documents which is contains to STU1, STU2, STU3, STU4, the student details. See, this is ID name and marks three columns are there and each each document contains three or two records here so in in first document it is there are three records and if you observe this second document the data is repeated see here number one data that is id number one has repeated again in second document like that in the third in the third, if you observe, uh, ID2 has repeated, see here, uh, ID2 has repeated in the STU3 as well. So coming to fourth document, fourth document also, there, there is a yeah, total, tot, total, there are, total number of records is 3 into 5, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus, 8 plus 2, 10. There are 10 records are there. See here. Kiran also repeated. This 14th ID also uh, repeated. So there are 10 records are there. Out of 10, if you uh, if you delete the duplicate records, one uh, delete the duplicate records, so you will get hardly seven seven records into the tables. So uh, how we can do? In, I will show in this demo by using SPS package. So, if there is only one document, if there is the data having only one document, if you observe any duplicates, then you directly go with the aggregate function or sort transformation to, to delete the duplicate records. Now, it is, it is the case where you observe four source documents have there. In all these four do four documents, you have there some duplicates. So in this case, you cannot apply either sort or aggregate function directly on the source document. So how we can delete the duplicate records and load into the tables? Now I will show. So for first time dragging the data protons to configure all four text documents, I am taking four flat file sources. Four flat file source. This is STU1. I am changing the names as per the text documents. STU2, STU3, and STU4. So these are the from four documents. Now after that. I am configuring the each flat file source by selecting the each document. Browse. So here I am taking STU1. Now you, you can select the second one, STU2 column. This is the third one I am configuring, STU3 text document. Browse and select the third one columns and fourth one is this one, stu4 text document yeah these are the four documents four flat file sources i am using and configuration is done for all four now i am dragging the union all union all you all know the it will take more than it will take more than the data from the more than one sources. So I am connecting all these flat file destinations, all the flat file sources to Uninol. To configure double click and 
chicane and differences of the column names are there. So here you observe marks here. Yeah. In other documents, all three documents, it's kept small m with their marks. In this uh, STU2, it is appearing uh, big M. That's why I'm. it will appear as, by default as ignore and I am changing it as a marks. Now, you, dra you drag the sort. Usually, if you want to um, merge it to two documents uh, by using the uninal, you need not require sort. You require sort only at the time of the using the merge and merge join uh, transformation. But in this case, I am using the um, sort transformation after union all. So not before the union all. I am uh, I am using the sort transformation after union all. I am connecting the union all with tra uh, sort transformation. Double click to configure. Here. I need to take all three columns, all three columns, and click the checkbox that is remove rows with the duplicate sort values. If your source document has only one document that contains duplicates, you can directly use the sort transformation after flat file source and you can load the data. But here there are four. Uh, test uh, test documents are four input sources are there. First, uh, I am co combining all in one uninal, and after after uninal, I am taking the sort as uh, the transformation to remove the duplicates. Now, I want to load this data into the destination OLDB destination. Dragging the OLDB destination and connecting. Sort with the OLDB destination. Double click to configure. I have already one table called student table. Right now there is no data. I am taking the the table. I am selecting the student table to get only unique records from the four text sources document. Yeah. Now package configuration has done successfully. Now after uh, running the package, three rows, two rows, every all ten rows are first loaded uh, into the uh, uninal, and from here uninal it will go to sort. Then it will filter the, remove the duplicates, and it will load it only destination and uh, unique rows into the final student table. I am going to run the package now. See here. I'm doing the farm. See here. Th three rows from first document and two rows from second document and three rows from the third document and two rows from the um, fourth document. All 10 rows are moved to uninal transformation. From then, all 10 rows move to sort transformation. Here, after applying the, uh, after making the that checkbox, uh, remove the du duplicates. So uh, only six rows are getting loaded into the destination table. So if you go and check your destination table, see here, only six documents. All these uh, records are the unique records from the um, source document. So sometimes in the real-time organization, you may you may get this problem. So you you will receive the same record from one source and as well as in the other source. So at that time, you have to configure your package. You have to create your package in this way to delete the uh, duplicate records and get the only. Uh, only the, the unique records into the tables. The only problem in this package is if you have four text documents, you, you will do you will do accordingly. And if there is one more text document you can add, then you, you need to make the changes in the package. So 
it doesn't take automatically so once again you have to create the package once again to to load the uh, to remove the duplicate records and getting load only unique records into the test strip hope this video helps to uh, how to remove the du duplicates from the multiple sources and load it into the test strip thanks for watching the video thank you very much